Why hasn't video killed photography? Yet. One reason is the limitation on creativity when using long exposures. Today, we'll task artificial intelligence with creating videos from photographs with effects that were previously unavailable in videography. Since you're limited by frame rate, you can't use a long exposure, such as one second, without turning the video into a slow slideshow. You could speed up such a video to create a time lapse, but this would entirely change the mood and lose the sense of realism. Another way to achieve long exposure effects in video is by averaging neighboring frames during post-processing on a computer. We've discussed this technique in one of our past videos, which you should definitely check out. Today, with the advent of neural networks that can attempt to make videos from any frame, we have gained another tool that can challenge the uniqueness of photography compared to video. Let's separately consider several different types of examples and discuss the differences between photo shooting and video shooting for each type. Yes, you will see that neural networks do not always perform well, but they have great potential. First example, light painting. This technique involves the photographer setting a long exposure of several seconds and illuminating the subject from different angles with a flashlight or flash. Often, the light is directed in spots, at different angles, and from various distances. This includes illuminating objects from a close distance, which is difficult to achieve in regular shooting because the light source would get into the frame. The result is an effect that is nearly impossible to replicate in videography. However, neural networks can create a video from this photograph with such lighting and it will look unusual. Light painting can also be used by landscape photographers and recently it has become especially common with the advent of quadcopters. Second example, macro photography. When shooting small objects in close-up, you have to focus very closely, which makes the depth of field very shallow. Therefore, powerful light sources are needed to stop down the aperture significantly. Sometimes, stacking several frames with different focuses is necessary. It is much easier to do all this for a single frame and then create a video from it. Third example, HDR technique. This involves taking multiple shots with different exposures, changing only the shutter speed, to later merge them into one image, containing information from both dark and bright areas. This results in a photo without shadow falloff or overexposure. Achieving this in video is more complex, but neural networks help animate it into a video. Fourth example, panorama stitching. When a photographer doesn't have a wide-angle lens, they can use the technique of shooting and stitching a panorama from multiple frames. Implementing this in videography is very difficult, if not impossible. Fifth example, night shooting. While camera sensors may potentially improve in the future, current cameras are still unable to capture night sky photos with the very short exposures required for videography while maintaining low digital noise. Therefore, when shooting night videos, Time lapses are often used, but in such time lapses, the Earth's rotation causes stars to move too quickly. Making the stars static in such videos during post-processing is feasible, but labor-intensive. However, AI handles it quickly. And the sixth example, neural network innovations. Neural networks sometimes create entirely new effects. Some objects appear as if shot with a long exposure, while others with a short one. Of course, we've only covered a few specific technical aspects that distinguish the process of photography from videography, but there are also psychological factors. It is precisely because of these psychological factors that static photographs will remain popular for a long time. Even videos like these won't be able to replace them. But that's a topic for another discussion. Let's put on some music and enjoy a few more examples of how photographs transform into videos. By the way, we created the music ourselves without using neural networks. The hopeful light is gonna fight And the night is growing bright Don't you know which side is right? My concern Oh uh -huh. 
在。